Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's KRATS on 435. I'm back at it with another good video today. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up controls using um, a PS3 controller for Mortal Kombat 4 for PS3. Um, in case you don't believe me, I will uh, actually prove to you uh, scientifically and as a gamer with my gamer heart of how to set up this game using a PS3 controller. So you may ask, Kiernan, you know, you're crazy. How do you set this game up with the controller? Well, it's pretty easy. I'm going to show you right now. So what you do, um, hold on, let me just show you. Uh, I have, like, my notes. Come on. Uh, get the notes up. Yo, like, is this thing out of its mind? Come on, man. Don't, like, don't screw with me, asshole. All right. Here we go. So with these notes, I'm going to show you how to set them up properly using the um, Mortal Kombat uh, or, or basically the N64 Project uh, 64 2.3 So what you do is that you just get this uh, software. Um, you load it up, but be sure to get the uh, WinWare Shit, the WinRAR version of Mortal Kombat, which I'll link all this inside the description, so you don't need to really, you know, follow anything, you know, s specific with what I say or do. Uh, but basically, what you do is that you get the file, you wait for the file to be finished. Uh, the file is going to come out in a WinRAR file type. You don't, yeah, yeah, like you don't extract anything out of the file. You keep it, uh, yeah, yeah, you keep it the way it is. And then you run the software, um, Project 64, you click File, Open ROM, and then you click on your WinRAR. And then, uh, before you even do any of that, um, go to a Control... Oh, uh, shit. Configure Controller Plugin, uh, which I will show you the game right now. Um, I'm going to switch over to the Mortal Kombat. So here we go. Or wait, actually, shit, I can't even show you... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah, perfect. Right here. So these are my controls that I put in. So I'm going to show you as far as, like, gameplay and... I don't know. Like, I'll just show you everything, and then I'll show you the controls of what I'm describing. So going up is your uh, directional pad up on the D-pad. Going left, uh, which is gameplay point of view, one, uh, which... um. Uh, this is pretty easy because these signs like greater than or less than or forward up or forward down like you know this a V shape or the upside down V that'll show you how to configure the control uh, but just to be on the safe note going up is your d-pad up going yeah, yeah going <laughs> oh, shit. going left is your d-pad left my bad I'm sorry so just um, ignore that, you know, um, fake um, typing that I put down for left, but y'all get what I'm saying. Going left is D-pad left. Going right is D-pad right. Going down is D-pad down. And going start, uh, which is just the pause of the game, is to start. And then for low punch for letter A is um, the um, X button for your PS3 controller. And then if you want your high punch, uh, that will be square for B. So that will, you know, make you punch, you know, upwards. So that way when you're actually getting into like, the fight with your, like, opponent, you know, like you're punching upwards. So that way you could jab to, to your um, opponent. So for dashes, uh, this is pretty important. Um, like, dashes will basically be part of the game where if you need to, like, dash left or dash right, kind of like what you see in boxing, um, that's basically going to give your, you know, your opponent the advantage to, um, evade any attacks that, um, let's just say Liu Kang or Scorpion or whoever uses any move on you. You could actually just dash up or basically dash left or dash right. So it's basically like to get yourself out of like a way or, um, out of like the way of, um, any incoming projectiles. So to put that move in, that's L1 for left trigger. Uh, that's to go left. And then for right trigger is R1, so that will, you know, make it go to the right. So for the next one, this is a bit tricky. This is called Z-Trigger. Z-Trigger is actually blocking. In order to 
you know, initiate that control for your blocking, you, yeah, yeah, you implement R2. Or if you're using Xbox, uh, same thing, you use a right trigger. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably set it up with the Xbox, but try doing it with the PS3 controller and then just implement with the same thing for everything else for the Xbox. So for L1 would be LB, uh, which would be left bumper. And then for R1, that would be RB for the right bumper. And then same thing with square, or more so, that would be A for the Xbox. And then for A, for low punch, um, that would be X. Or actually, no, shit. Square would be X for the Xbox 360. And then for A, um, which would be X for the PS3, converted to the Xbox would be X. Or um, would be A. So... <laughs> Yeah, like, y'all get what I'm saying, but I'm just saying, like, for any Xbox users, try that. That might work. Um, I'll actually just show you everything that I've written or just screenshot it and just, like, basically replicate what I have and try to see if it works. I'm not too sure because not everybody's computers is quite up to date, so it might be tricky for you, but give it a shot. It might work for you. So for the C buttons, see these guys right over here? This is up, left, right, and down. Okay, just to let you know, do not use C button left. That's just a replicated button that's going to conflict with your controller. So to make it easier, I put down on my you know notepad for C button up, right, and down. So C button up gives you, I, I believe, your high kick or low kick. Um, either way... Like, I believe it's high kick for C button up, uh, which would be triangle. So, you know, for C button up, um, right up here to your top right corner, or, yeah, yeah, top right mid corner, that would be triangle. For, for C button right, not C button left, do not do anything with that. Just put, like, a backspace or anything that's not going to conflict with your controller buttons. C button right is, is a circle, so you will be inputting circle for C button right. And then for C button down, that's going to be L2. So L2 is your command for running. So, like, for those of you that probably want to set up your controller, you know, for a certain way for you to run using R2, then you would have to basically switch out the Z trigger that you use for your R2 to block and set that as an L2 for the block and then for your R2 for C button down uh, which would have been L2 that will be R2 for that one so vice versa you just switch out R2 you know with like the L2 for, for Z trigger if you want to use that as your blocking ability and then for C button down that will be R2 if you want to use that as a block or as a running ability. But like no, no no just to like just to make it easier, C button down is to use L2 as the input if you want to use running. In which like you know, like you're gonna have to use running because running is very vital for Mortal Kombat games if you want to actually survive um in a fight. So Alright. I pretty much showed you everything that I'm going to do, so I'm going to convert over to the game. So give me one second. Oh, shit. Um, it probably didn't even... Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Because, like, this shit, like, obviously shuts down on you. But, yeah, um, let me just actually do, like, the rundown, like, right now. And just go back to the controller plugin. Alright, yeah. Um, right here. Yeah, yeah, right here. No, no, no. No. Um, I'm sorry, guys. You know, I just, I just don't get prepared properly. But, um, hold on. Give me one second. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, like, my shit doesn't even load up all the way. Alright, right here. So, basically, for everything that I've said, you know, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but for everything that's lit up, up is D-pad up, D-pad left for going left, and then D-pad right, D-pad down, and then, then start button, and then for A is, you know, the letter X, um, right, PS3, PS3 X button. And then for, um, you know, um, B, B button, that would be square. Um, your X button is your low punch, and then your square punch is your high punch. 
And then for left trigger, for left dash is L1. Right trigger uh, will be R1 for for um, right dash. And then Z trigger is your block it. Yeah, a blocking ability that's like um, R2. And then for up, for C button, uh, I believe that is your low kick or high kick, vice versa. That's triangle. Do not use C button left. And then for C button right, um, like I think it's low or high kick, that will be circle. And then, you know, for your running ability, C, C button down, that's L2. All right, so now that we got that taken, yeah, yeah, taken care of, we're going to go straight to the game. Um, I'm going to switch over. All right, here we go. So I'm going to show proof to all of you of how to, you know, obviously work this. So yeah, um, here we go. All right, so up, down, left, right, high punch, and then low punch. And then uh, this is obviously your high kick. So just um, keep that in mind. This is high kick. That's low kick. This is run. This is block. So yeah, let me show you like a combo with Kai. And I will show you proof. Alright, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Hold on. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, perfect. So, obviously if you want to do this, you want to do that. And don't be afraid to, like, play around with it. Um, actually give yourself a chance to get used to the actual abilities, but once you know what you're doing, then, you know, you'll obviously get down with the hang of it. Unfortunately, I can't show you a fatality because I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, like, actually perfect in actually doing the fatalities yet, but this is the fatality list for all characters. Well, obviously, I'm using Kai, and then I'm training up against, or I'm practicing against um, Reptile, but I believe for any of these fatalities, you just have to follow the sequence. But just to make it easier, a D, uh, this is just obviously to help you guys out if you're trying to learn your actual um, abilities, but that's down for D, and then B means back. And then that's low punch. So down and back, low punch. Hold on, let me show it to you. I probably can't pull it off because I'm not, yeah, because I'm not like really, you know, proper in how to do this. <laughs> yeah, but technically that's supposed to work for you. But, you know, eventually like you'll kind of get used to it. So you'll understand what, yeah, yeah, like you'll understand what you're going to do. But obviously I probably can't show off like my weapon because it's not going to pop off, but, yeah, but just play around with it, you know, um, like I said, you know, eventually you're going to understand how to work with this game, and yeah, you'll be a Mortal Kombat champion in no time. Hold on. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I believe for fatalities, you know, you just have to follow up the sequence, obviously U means up, and then down, so I guess you just do up, up, down, block, okay, yeah, that's weird. And then you do up, forward, up. Yeah, up, forward, up. And then back, high kick. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's just going to be really hard to get that off. Fan fatality. Uh, that's forward, forward, down. And then back, forward, down, high kick, or, or block. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I don't know what else is left for me to show you. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Um, I will give you the links to properly um, get this, you know, game installed. Obviously, you just got to go to the website that I'll link down, download the file, wait for the file to finish, and then you click on open, and then it's just going to give you a WinRAR file. WinRAR is the extraction software you would need in order to, you know, have this file ready to be emulated for the software, Project 64. So once that's done, you know, run the game, put in the controls that you wish to do if you're actually smart and have that technique knowledge to do so, and then yeah, you'll be set and good and um, good to go. So if you have any more questions, uh, please talk. Yeah, please comment down below. And if you want to, you know, Discord chat or talk face to face, yeah, be sure to hit me up. Um, obviously, this is pretty straightforward. So I will link down the softwares, you know, required to get this done. 
or the you know website obviously and then you just get the website for the, for the software for project 64 for the latest version and then boom you're already set man all right so be sure to like rate comment and subscribe i will see you guys later and happy gaming peace out bye